We all need a little bit of magic right now, especially for loving. <laughs> so come with me. Let's go check the tarot, see what, what's coming for the next while. Come with me. Let's go check. Pisces sun, Pisces moon. This reading is for adults only. We're talking about love. We're looking at love. So we might talk about sex. <laughs> This episode is entertainment only. I hope you only take from it what feels good and positive. Positive, influential, maybe a bit of magic. This is for Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon. I feel like the cards are going to show us that you're calling your lover home. I mean that in the metaphorical sense, right? I'm sensing the name Aaron, uh, the name um, Jean. I'm sensing a uh, Brianne, Miguel, <clears throat> Tanya. Let's get an overall reading here. Yeah, Aphrodite, inner goddess. Awakening the goddess when it, within you through dance, self-care. So go dance it out. Before we start this reading, I need you to pause the pause the, the your watch here. Pause your watch party. <laughs> Play your favorite song and dance it out. And while you're dancing it out, call your lover home. Simple ritual. You can light candles if you want. You can stomp your feet. You can put on a belly dancing skirt. Whatever you need. Maybe you'll want a shawl over your head. But this reading is about calling your lover home. And I don't mean just come here. I mean deep down in your bluest heart. You're calling that lover in. So let's start. Lover, come home. The top row will be, the top row will be you. The bottom row will be your next love or somebody you have in mind. Or somebody incoming. Let's use a different deck. Getting the number 30 and 33, that could possibly be a age. Somebody who looks really good in red. Oh, the starfish is all about hope. Mmm, somebody comes in to help you clean it all up. <laughs> Perfect. Let's look at this first card. <gasps> the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is structure, foundation, celebration. These two are dancing at their wedding, maybe. That's what's on your mind. I'm going to get married. Now look at the color coordination here between the browns and the oranges, between our main deity here and the first step on your behalf. So you go dance it out. You wear your favorite clothes ever. You jewel yourself up, make up yourself up, play your favorite song or songs, dance it out. And that action is a ritual to call in your love, bring your love home. Come, lover, come home, come home. I'm feeling you. I can tell you're near. Let's get married. Let's commit. Let's be everything to each other that I've never experienced before. Here's your lover's reaction. The two of wands. The two of wands to me is often um, an artist. So the two of wands also though is 
the color coordination between these first three initial cards is really speaking to me. Like everybody is speaking from their sacral chakra, which is the creative. The sacral chakra though is also um, your genitals. So that sexual connection. The two of wands can be bold. Yearning for love. Your love is also yearning for you. That's what's going on here. What's next? <gasps> the sun. So the sun card can be a Leo. It can be meant to be the Leo season. The sun card is thought thought you could be casual, but you end up falling in love. The sun card sometimes is reconciliation or past love. Maybe. The sun card often represents somebody who is very affectionate, passionate, truthful. The sun card for me is being uh, comfortable naked. So you're wanting to meet someone just as raw in their nudity as you are. So those were your first few cards. And I just want to make a face to face here and say like, we're in this together, right? Um, if it's not resonating, you can swipe out. That's totally cool. Check another part of your chart. Maybe I'll see you next month or next week. But for those of you who are finding a little bit of magic, let's go. Perhaps you do your ritual naked. Your dance out. Oh, the hanged man. So we've got two major arcanas mirroring each other in between you and this, this incoming love. Uh, so this hanged man is all about, sorry, did I say reverse? It's not reversed. The hanged man is all about voluntarily putting yourself in a state of transformation. Right, it's built, it's unwavering commitment. If it was reversed, it would be wavering commitment when it's upright. So this person, look at these colors, are once again juxtaposed perfectly in a reading, meaning you're both on the same level, in the same vibration. You both want the same unwavering love, this incoming love. They want the same thing you do. They just, they're, they're feeling you out. They're trying to find you. So your siren song is this dance out you do. You got to dance it out. It's going to, it's going to create waves in the universe and bring this path. It'll open the path for this love to get to you. Or if this is someone, you know, it'll open a path in their heart and in their mind where they see you differently. So the Four of Cups reversed. This, I'll show you a bit closer. The Four of Cups reversed. <clears throat> when it rains, it pours. Offerings are coming. Finding what you've been looking for, the search actually comes to fruition. So this Four of Cups reversed is this ritual actually working, taking place. This love finding you, right? This love being 100 showing up. The Four of Cups reversed is, is uh, you know, perfect in a reading because it's bringing you your desires. Yep. So the Six of Cups is reconciliation of some kind, right? Uh, so the Six of Cups here, remember, we suggested perhaps it was a reconciliation of some kind. This could be somebody you knew a very long time ago. And they, like, you haven't seen them in years. Perhaps. Perhaps. 
The Six of Cups also can represent somebody in need of serenity. So this lover, they need someone like you. They need the serenity that you offer. They need your smooth hips in a gentle dance of ritual. They're craving it. <clears throat> the starfish for me is hope. The vulture is coming in to help you change your life get rid of it doesn't belong anymore. So you're offering hope that they that they are looking for, right? And they're offering you a cleanup, which is something that you're ready for. Being ready and longing are two very different ideas. The shark, this represents you. It's the water sign, right? It's the Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. The shark is predatory. The shark knows when to step in, right? The shark is always watching. It's kind of like exposure. It's intriguing. The shark is captivating, mysterious. Kind of sums up a Pisces sun, doesn't it? The shark is only dangerous though when we don't acknowledge it. So this can represent a big secret being exposed. It creates tension. Maybe this love is not quite single yet and it very quickly gets exposed. Maybe. The gazelle is a fire sign. So an action adventure, this represents fire. The gazelle, maybe it's a Leo, like we suggested, a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. The gazelle is fast and limber. <laughs> the gazelle has heightened awareness. Most of all, though, the gazelle is graceful. Artistic. Again, this is an artistic Leo perhaps coming into the picture. Regardless, it's a very graceful relationship, right? It's kind and loving. Let's continue. I wanna see what they look like. This incoming love or this person you have in mind. Oh, pregnancy. <laughs> Looks like the two of you might be making a baby or maybe they have green eyes. See, this looks like an eyeball here. Perhaps they have green eyes. Perfect timing. I feel like they live in nature, like they live in a, like a small town maybe, or a country, or right near the ocean. Look at these initials, PP. This is their physical appearance. So they are already a parent. They have a daughter. I feel like they might have two daughters. Or maybe you have two daughters. Vegetarian. Okay. Do a little bit more here. Yeah, this card, this is a painting I've created. The card is called Baron on a Plane. It represents um, a man who has lots of children and is wealthy. Of course, if you need that to be female. A labyrinth of flossy hair represents a stylist. Maybe you are a stylist. Uh, maybe they own a chain of uh, salons or spas. Um, they like high-end drinks. Perhaps they are, maybe perhaps they teach bartending in the evenings or have virtual classes of bartending, something like that. Okay, this is my Pisces card. 
It's just validation from the universe here. Oh, fascination. So this card in my deck, I created her as a mentor. So you can expect a mentor coming, showing up in your life. I would say late May. And if not May, it will be late August. A mentor. Maybe, maybe the mentor is um, part of the new love package. Let's do one more card here. To dare. See, her intuition is wide open. Her third eye is wide open. This card is the Seven of Wands, which, which is igno ig enjoying recognition. You know where to find me. So you're going to let this incoming love chase you. You're not going to initiate any of the conversations for quite a few months. You're letting them chase you. This is all about, you know where to find me, that kind of attitude. Really enjoy this reading. Uh, over on Vimeo, I'm going to continue. We're going to use some more tarot. We're going to see what happens between the two of you. And we're going to use these romance cards too. And over on Vimeo, on the extended, the link is below. We're going to look at what happens if you don't pursue it with this love, then what? I hope I see you over there. And, um, and thank you for being here.